got five minutes. What's your story about? It's about a baseball player, a rookie shortstop that's batting 347. Uh-huh. Poor kid was once mixed up in a holdup, but he's trying to go straight. Uh-huh. Except there are a bunch of gamblers that won't let him. So they tell the poor kid he's got to throw the World Series or else, huh? More or less, except for the end, I've got a gimmick that's real good. Uh-huh. You got a title? The question that we try to answer was what does a 21st century film school look like? If you're going to build it, what do you want in there? We've been very mindful of the level of quality that we wanted. We have 70,000 square feet between the two floors. We built it out to meet what we saw as the ideal structure for a film school. The curriculum is a very contemporary and a very well thought out curriculum. The students were handpicked. We have been very conscious of the need that we have to uh, have a very diverse group of students. They need to get the job done in a way in which they can have an impact, in a way in which they can be telling stories that are new and original and we're not just trotting out the same old tried and true stories that Hollywood keeps on selling. I am from Jamaica. Since the last year of my first degree, I've wanted to do film. I do believe I have some sort of a voice when it comes to social justice, but that's not yet fully developed, and that is a part of the process that's gonna happen here. My voice is gonna grow a little bigger, I hope. The facilities looked amazing. When I spoke to the faculty, I heard wonderful stuff, and I figured, they're new, I am very new to the industry, we can start this whole growth process together. I'm from Key West, Florida, so it, uh, I came a long way with the facilities here. The uh, staff, faculty, everyone involved is so representative of what the film should be, and it's, it's just nice. It's a great, great, great place to create nice things. I applied, I accepted, and I moved to Brooklyn before even seeing the facility. So there was a lot of faith uh, in this, and um, I was not disappointed in the least. They're giving you everything that we need to, to do what we want to do, and they're putting it all on, on us. So there's nothing left in the air. It's on us to create what we want to create. It's on us to, to do good. Somebody had the idea um, of looking to place the school at Steiner Studios. The moment at which Doug Steiner expressed an interest, my sense is that everybody, you know, the lights went on. Everybody said, you know, this is an incredible idea. It seems so obvious to have a film school at a, on a working film lot and to be really the only, the only graduate school in the country that, that has that. We have the 4,000 square foot soundstage. We have three other production studios. We have a massive equipment room with beautifully designed uh, set of demo rooms for students to check in, check out equipment. We have a mocap studio. We have a beautiful student lounge which overlooks the skyline of Manhattan. Of course, we have this beautiful 4K screening room. And then downstairs, we have all the post-production facilities. We have an animation space. We have a render farm. Uh, it's, you know, it's the whole nine. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, the facilities are amazing. Things I don't have access to just on my own. All the professors and uh, just being able to be on Steiner Studios a lot so that we have that um, hopeful interaction with people in the business. It feels like we're part of a TV show, I guess is the best way to put it, like the production, sound studios, all that stuff, it's crazy. What makes our program different from a lot of programs is that we do have the MAs and the MFAs all in the same place, um, mixing with each other and taking classes together. That is a plus when MFAs tends to be focused just on the production side. We really wanted to make sure that we, had, we emphasize studies as well, um, particularly film history um, and thinking about film and being able to talk about film outside of writing screenplays and so on. The idea is to really emphasize history. Not only history, but critical analysis, historical um, analysis as part of the filmmaking process.
Film school is increasingly the path by which people go into the film industry. And unless you actively go out and find the right people, have a, you know, a commitment to diversity and inclusion in your recruitment process, it's not going to change. And that's something that, as a CUNY, we're committed to do. And certainly Brooklyn College has got a long history of that commitment. And, and I think that's for the good all the way around. I'm in the directing track, um, so hopefully I can, I can come out of here um, with more knowledge on how to be successful in that. I'm not looking at it in such a specific way. I'm looking at it because I'm helping on, on a lot of crews and I'm doing different things for each crew, and I'm learning so much every time. So it's kind of an all-encompassing experience for me. The film industry in Jamaica, at present, it's very small. And I want to be one of those persons that contribute to the growth and development of that. So I'm hoping to take this education, this experience, the people I get to meet here, the network I get here, to help to build that side of the world and the film industry there. My hope is that you know, we'll maintain a level of quality, we'll maintain a level of consistency, and that stories that have not been seen or heard before will come out of the school and, you know, really reinvigorate the film culture.